get the money in this. It's got 3D action. Did did you ever have one on the or your keys for that? Do you hear this? This is the sound of somebody drilling shit into the top of the house uninvited. No letter. Didn't knock on my door to let me know. But this is probably the most affordable. It lasts ages. Yeah, it's, it's... Anything could have been happening in here. In fact, they didn't even ask if I was home. So I would have come home and there's just some fucker in my roof. Don't worry about giving me a timetable for when the timetable is going to be put up. Just give me a timetable for the bus. I'm only videoing the street because I want to run this street in the next hour. I feel really bad. It's super bad if I don't do it because I don't really feel up to it. No rest for the dickhead. And that way when I get into the edit later and there's no running footage after this clip, uh, then, then I can feel like shit about myself. There's also one other purpose for this run. And thank you for motivating me. You'll know who you are. You sent me a message. Well, you might be watching this. Hopefully you are. Um, you sent me a message like a week and a half ago. I know it was about the tick watch and the new update. And I actually haven't read it. So, I, I properly. Like, I did read I'm sorry. I've been busy. Let's have a look right now quickly. And let's make sure that I can answer this question for you. This is, this is why I didn't message back. Because I, I didn't want to rush this answer. What is your display picture? Oh, it's a dog. Is it a dog? Oh, it's a dog and you. It's half your face. Okay. Hi Ryan, I think I'm gonna buy a TickWatch E, which is what I have. I just watched your video, TickWatch E, a fitness tracker, question mark. I've also seen a lot of posts regarding the GPS not working without connection to your phone. If yours is still working post the Wear OS update, I wanna use it while running to see distance, etc., and then sync with Strava. By the way, great view. Okay, I do have the Wear OS app uh, update. All right, Strava. Let's let's download Strava right now. I'm gonna run with that without my phone, without being connected to my phone. It, it was really easy to set up. All I have to do is press start now. The watch is in, well, it's, it's not connected to my phone at all, so it's gonna be using the GPS on here. Let's press start right now. Let's see what happens. Uh. It's got this orange chin here. That's gonna take up some, some battery. On RunKeeper, it just has white writing on black pixels. It's the best, like it's the most battery efficient you can be with the screen still on. Oh man, let's just see how it goes. Here we go. See Ryan, you proud of me? All right, you fucking asshole, making me feel guilty. This is where I was filming before, okay? Going for a run. No need to feel bad about it, all right? Oh, all right, let's check this shit out. One thing, since the Wear OS update, the battery just doesn't seem to be lasting as long as I wanted it to, or as long as it used to anyway. But it did turn on a few apps, that I previously turned off, it turned, it, it fucked with a few settings. So I'm not sure whether or not it was just those. And the reason I hadn't done a video is because I hadn't, I didn't feel like I'd done a fair test of it yet. So today's gonna be a bit of a light test on that as well. One caveat is that I've changed from Watchmaker to do my watch faces to a an app called Puji. P-U-J-I-E. I-E? I-E? I think it's I-E. I didn't tell you what the battery was when I left. It was about 52%. In fact, I'm very confident it was 52%, uh, which was 25 minutes ago. Right now, it's at 28%. That is a kick in the balls, which means in another 25 minutes, it's gonna be done. I may not even make it home. We're gonna check the battery information after the run. All right, now I'm just gonna work out in this park a little bit. I'm in a mad rush. Hey, you! <laughs> 
uh, running late at 15% and it did turn on battery saver mode for a little bit of that. I turned it off now for whether or not we're going to make it back home. It's debatable. What? Alright, 4% battery. 3.4 kilometers is what I ran. Quick run. Uh, 18 minutes 55 seconds. Sounds about right. 5 minutes 32 kilometers per hour. That also sounds correct. Oh, okay. I've clicked the tick now. Didn't Ant just walk over the camera? My phone is covered in ants right now. I don't know how I'm going to... You see those little black flashes? That, those, that's ants. Oh, man. How am I going to do this? Get off. Oh, fuck. They're already on me. Off the phone. Mind you, this is without connectivity on. The only thing it's been trying to do is keep the screen on a little and pull GPS. Yeah. Alright, let's check this. This watch. Ah, nah, wearing a dumb watch. The watch had only charged to 11%, so it wasn't even worth bringing out, so I can't check it. Sorry, I know this is delayed, this is gonna be all over the joint, but tonight, tonight I'll talk about it. Oh yeah, I found, uh, we're shopping for a jacket for Michael, my cousin. He just uh, got a new internship at ADC. Congratulations. And um, so we're getting him a jacket, like a smart casual jacket. And now I'm buying a jacket. So we look at one place. We look at one jacket, right? <laughs> Third place we looked at. So we've dumped this jacket idea because we left it way too late and now it's they're at half an hour away from the whole shop's closing. I'm gonna go buy my expensive jacket. So it's a success for me, even though I didn't endeavor to buy a new jacket or ever said that I need a new jacket. And we don't have time to get like the alternate present, really, without rushing this decision. Oh, Jesus. All right, look, I I'm sorry that this was uh, split up by me running around a shopping center buying a jacket. Let's just look at the graph that's on the Wear OS app though. So this is my work day, all right, starting from 2 a.m. When I got here, it was about 50%, and then it dropped dramatically when I did wait for my Strava run, as we saw. And I couldn't really work out why that hasn't happened with run keeping. I thought at first, and probably partly this, is that when I go for a run keeper run, and I hit run, it gives me a countdown, and this is all it displays. Just this white writing, this is using, this is true AMOLED black. But on the Strava app, if I go for a run on this, this is what it shows me with this orange chin. And I thought, oh, that's what killed the battery. But that's a dramatic drop just for a bit of orange that's being lit up. Just now when I was doing tests, I noticed that there was this light flashing in my face, which is actually how this watch monitors your heart. Didn't realize that the Strava app was constantly getting my heart rate, which is something the RunKeeper app doesn't. This was flashing today for 40 minutes. Like this current iteration of the TicWatch E with the Wear OS update, the battery is not holding up with the Strava app in that way. The question is, can you turn off heart rate monitoring? And is that important to you? Those are the two questions that you need to ask. Now, on that first question, let's go into settings. When I go into app permissions to Strava, it gives me location as a separate item to sensors. So you can turn off sensors and that'll turn off effectively the heart rate monitor on here. And you can still get your GPS. As the ultimate point, and this is just answering who I'm gonna call Ms. P's original question, is there an issue with the GPS on the TicWatch E with regards to the Wear OS update? And the short answer is no. I'm gonna quickly flash the map at you. That is, to a T, the, the running route. Distance, like I mentioned, was 3.4 kilometers, and that really stacks up against what I usually get in RunKeeper. RunKeeper is generally 
data from my phone rather than the watch. And I'm, it still remains to be seen whether or not it's a problem, it's just battery life. I feel like the battery life has taken a hit since the update. I'll give you an update. Just stay tuned, subscribe down below, and, um, and I'm going to get to it. Any more info that you want about the TicWatch E is still relevant in my, my initial review as a fitness tracker. Anything I, else I have to say has already been said in that video, so 